Hey guys, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be painting a Contemptor Dreadnought. And before I got started priming him, I went ahead and used some technical paint. Uh, it's a crackle medium that uh, I got from Green Stuff World for the base. And it's just a one step application. Let that dry, primed it, and now we're starting out with Beastie Brown. And I'm just creating a, uh, a fade with this BC Brown over the whole model, focusing on the armor bits. So this model I magnetized, so we're painting all three of uh, the set of arms that come with it. And I left the uh, chest piece separate, that way I could paint the head without affecting everything else around it. But that's what it's looking like after the Beastie Brown. Next we're starting with uh, Stonewall Gray. And we're just dry brushing and catching the edges and stippling, creating texture over top of this beastie brown. And then basing the uh, parts that are going to be white. So that's what he's looking like with the uh, Stonewall Gray draw brush. Still focusing on the armor pieces. And then we just base the, uh, the helmet with the Stonewall Gray. After that we'll be using dead white and we're just adding highlights everywhere we uh, use the uh, stonewall gray. And we're still using this for edging and stippling just to create uh, texture and a weathered look and places to catch highlights for our next layers. And at the same time whenever I'm doing the uh, gray and white uh, you know, I'm basing the parts that'll be white as well as uh, parts that'll be black, but having that extra detail with the uh, gray and white. So that's what we're looking like after the dead white. We've got them all textured up. And we base those panels in between the, the pauldrons on his arms with the uh, mostly white over the stonewall gray. So next I'm creating the red wash for the armor and I wanted to visually show how I uh, mix my paint here. So I just like plugged the hole in my uh, bottle there for my thinner and that's just isopropyl alcohol 50-50 mixed with water. And it's just an estimated guess mainly to measure this I uh, use my wash brush on the side of the cup and I try to get it uh, a pretty low opacity 
because I still want all those details I just did to show through but I want the color to have a nice layer over the brown as well you know, still a little uh, opaque so I just added a little bit more of the thinner in there and we're just using uh, bloody red once I get the opacity where I want it then I'll wash all the uh, armor bits and I'm not too worried about getting it on anything else on the model. So that's what he's looking like after the uh, red wash. Next we're going to be using orange fire and going back to dry brushing we're just going over all those details we did on the edges and the stippling. And this will make our uh, all our details more vibrant. And it'll look good with the uh, the next layer, the red wash that we're doing on it. So that's what it's looking like after the orange fire. And then we'll go back with that same red wash and go over everything again. So that's what we're looking like after the second red wash. Next we're going to be basing the metallics and starting out with bronze. This will be our base color for all the, uh, the trim on his armor.
And then we're going to be basing uh, the gunmetal gray on the rest of the metallic bits. So all the joints and pistons and his hands and barrels on those guns we will all be based with the, the gunmetal gray. So that's what we're looking like after the, the base colors for our metallics. Next we're we'll washing the metallics, we're using black wash for all the gunmetal bits, and then we'll be using blue wash for all the bronze bits. And at the same time, using the black wash, we're washing over the parts that we did with the uh, stone and with the dead white. And then all the bronze bits with the blue wash. So that's what we're looking like after the wash. Next, we'll be highlighting all the metallics using gunmetal for all the uh, the gunmetal gray bits. And we're just edge highlighting. And then we'll be using polished gold for the bronze pieces. We're just catching the edges on all the trim work. Now I went ahead and uh, for the next color we used, based the, uh, the eyes with the white and went back and added some extra details on the white bits, just using dead white. And then for the Melta, we used two Turbo Dork paints Afterburner and then uh, Raspberry and I think these two colors look really good to make like a uh, a heated looking metal and then we just use red wash over that and then we just base the uh, scroll work on his chest with the, the uh, bone color And then we just use the ombre wash over that. So for the eyes, we just use an airbrush and use Poisonous Cloud, and then we wash it with a black green ink. And 
and that's pretty much it. Uh, for the base, we just used that same bone color over the uh, black primer and dry brushed it. And then we washed it with a sepia wash from uh, Vallejo. And then we let that dry and then we used a rust oxide pigment powder from Vallejo. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you all enjoy the video and we'll see y'all next time. Later.